Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be showcasing one of my favorite new combinations in the entire game. Like, these two units, man, literally form an impenetrable wall. And I actually feel kind of bad when I run them, because it must be very frustrating for the enemy to not be able to do any damage, you know? But uh, anyways, the combination that I'm talking about here is the AGL LR Gohan, who I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with at this point, as well as the brand new STR Super Saiyan Teen Trunks from the Int Broly Banner. Now, uh, since this guy's new, we are gonna quickly go over his details. If you guys already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about 30 seconds to a minute, and we'll get into the showcase. Okay, so starting with his leader skill, it's Hybrid Saiyan's Category Key plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%. He has two different super attacks. There's the regular one, which is Burning Attack, and this one raises Attack and Defense for one turn, causes Supreme Damage, with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And then there's the Unit Super Attack, Double Masenko, which activates when there's an ally whose name includes Gohan Youth, attacking in the same turn, and this one greatly raises attack. For one turn, raises defense, and this one can be stacked infinitely, uh, causes immense damage, and has a high chance of stunning the enemy. And then his passive is attack and defense plus 200% medium chance of launching an additional super attack. And then hybrid Saiyans category allies keep plus 3 attack and defense plus 40%. So not only is he one of the best supports in the entire game, at least for Hybrid Saiyans, he's also given himself a chance for an additional super and also 200% attack and defense in addition to stacking defense, you know, a 50% chance to stun on the super attack. Like, this guy just does a lot, man. I'm a big fan of this unit for sure. And in terms of links, it's Messenger from the Future, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, uh, Cold Judgment, Royal Lineage, Dismal Future, and Fierce Battle. Unfortunately, the links are not leveled up too much, but... It's all good. He's still going to be quite impressive. And uh, yeah, he's only at 55%. Uh, it wasn't for a lack of trying. I really wanted more dupes. It's just I couldn't pull them, man. I spent 1,500 stones, pulled 5 int Brolies before I pulled 1 STR Trunks. Sometimes it just be like that, so it is what it is. So on this first rotation, we have the combo together. And as you can see, it says Unit Super Attack because we got the Gohan and, uh, you know, the Trunks. And he's starting off with 107,877 defense, whereas Gohan has 140,067 defense. We're definitely going to keep an eye on the defense, because obviously those are going to go up uh, as we progress through the event. So let's give a few orbs now to Trunks. Uh, we can probably get almost a full 24 key. There we go, 21 key for Gohan. And High School Gohan gets a few orbs too. Let's see what Trunks can do. Uh, 1.8. Not bad, not bad. 1.8 mil additional super. There we go. I knew it was going to happen. He was trying to show up for the showcase. I felt it. So yeah, 1.8 for the partner super attack. And then 1.6 for the additional, which I believe is the normal super attack, right? It's kind of interesting how when units with like partner super attacks additional, it seems like they do the regular super as opposed to the partner super, which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, to be honest, because, like, you still have the required unit on rotation, right? So the additional super, in my opinion, should be a, uh, you know, partner super attack or unit super attack. I mean, that's just how it works. Not much we can do about it, but I just feel like that would make more sense, you know? But uh, regardless, 1.8 mil, 1.6 mil for a 55% non Dokkan Fest support, I, I will take that, you know, like, obviously offensively, like, he's not gonna be blowing anyone away, right? I mean, if he's rainbowed with max links, you can probably get him to, like, I would guess, like, 2.5 or somewhere around there, which would be amazing, but he's not here for damage, he's here for defense, he's here for support, and he does those two better than you know, most units in this game, right? So now, on the second rotation, after two supers, we're up to 140,000 defense. Uh, Gohan is already up to 188,000. And as I said, guys, like, we're just really 
not going to be taking much damage throughout this entire run. In fact, unless we get supered, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we only take double digit damage. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, okay, I lied. <laughs> double to triple, how about that? Double digit to triple digit damage throughout most of this run. Uh, okay, Gohan up to almost 5 million attack now with the 18 key. And there goes Goku. This this could be a pretty quick uh, uh, video, honestly, because like a lot of people on this team do a lot of damage. Um, I'm expecting us to pretty much roll through the first like you know four or five phases, and uh, from there you know we might take a little bit of time on the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, the STR UI, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, obviously this this team is like. It is, it's pretty stacked, you know, like everyone on this team can tank, essentially, uh, with the exception of... No, no, actually, no, everyone on this team can tank. Everybody on this team can tank. Uh, Hyper Saiyans is becoming very, very powerful. I mean, it was already really good, but now with the addition of, like, this Trunks for support, um, it makes, you know, getting super is a little bit easier. Like, my only complaint, for the most part, when it comes to Hyper Saiyans is the links, right? Like, a lot of these top-tier Hybrid Saiyans units don't link the greatest with each other. Um, so having really good support, like this guy, like the High School Gohan, uh, when, I, when I say this guy, I mean the Trunks, of course. The Trunks, the High School Gohan, uh, who else is there? Um, I'm blanking right now, but the point is, yeah, we're getting more and more good supports now, so it's not really as big of a problem, you know? Uh, defense now 158,000 for Trunks, 216,000 for Gohan. And of course, his attack will stay, you know, stable for the most part throughout the entire showcase because uh, he's not really raising attack infinitely, anything like that. It would have been nice, actually. It would have been nice if the partner super attack infinitely raised attack and defense, but maybe. Maybe that's asking for too much. I don't know, man. He already does so much, so. I really can't ask too much more of him. Um, and of course, he's making the AGL Gohan even more of a beast than he already was. I mean, AGL Gohan by himself with anybody else is already, you know, an absolute monster. Then you give him 40% attack and defense support as a key, and uh, he's, he's doing some good things. He's definitely doing some good things. All right, so this was the first time in forever that I've seen the uh, Super Saiyan transformation for future Gohan. Uh, that was pretty dope, I gotta, I gotta be honest. Um, the question is, do I want to keep him in rotation? I probably don't, because he's better as a floater here. I want to keep these two together, actually. I'm very tempted to pop the active skill for one of these guys, but I don't think it's a very good idea this early in the event, so we'll probably do it on the last stage. Once we get to uh, MUI Goku, and he's close to close to dying, because obviously we have type disadvantage here, but by then, these guys are going to be so tanky, it doesn't really even matter. I should probably call this video just like, this team is indestructible, right? Although I feel like I've already used that title. Who did I use that video title for? It must have been Majin Power. Because Majin Power literally is like, impenetrable. I mean, if you have the double Biz Boo tanks is going, and then you have like, you know, like even some of the non-stackers like uh, the Boo Piccolo, um, the new kid Boo, his defense is not the greatest, but he does heal you for a ton. So it's the combination of the healing plus some of the tanking from a few units on that team that make that team so crazy defensively. But anyways, let's check on the defense now. 204,000 for Gohan. Or rather, Trunks, 341,000 for uh, Gohan already. Um, hopefully, hopefully Trunks doesn't get supered. I kind of want to just like have these two not take more than double, triple digits. There we go. It took nine. <laughs> nine damage. I mean, I know it's only Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but still. Still, nine damage from the type disadvantage normal attack. And we got the additional super. Um, if we can consistently get, you know, two supers every single turn, or at least like every other turn, then he's gonna be stacking even faster. 
Um, if you combine the attack stats, that's around like 3 million attack, or more than 3 million attack per turn, right? And, uh, you know, for support, I mean, it's really impressive. There are very few support units in this game that can actually hit harder, uh, at least like non Dokkan Fest supports, that can actually hit harder than the, the Trunks, you know, like there's... Who is there? Uh, oh, the, the Fizz Tien, I think, hits harder, uh, based on my experience, although my Tien is rainbowed, so it, it's not exactly like a fair comparison, but I'm pretty sure the Fizz Tien still hits harder on average, even if they're both rainbowed. And then there is... I don't know, man, I think that might be it. I think Fizz Tien might be the only non Dokkan Fest support unit um, that hits harder. I mean, not including like, you know, maybe like a like a free to play LR or something like that, like uh, the Super Battle Road, you know, Goku, for example. But yeah, outside of like LRs, outside of like Dokkan Fest, this Trunks hits extremely hard for a support unit. Is extremely tanky for a support units on Super Battle Road. He's gonna be a beast too, cause he's got that 50% chance to stun, the great tanking, um, you know, making the rest of your team more tanky, doing more damage. So uh, he's just a great unit. I guess. I guess the main point of this showcase is really to show you guys like what the what the trunks can do, cause uh, we did do the Broly team showcase a couple of days ago, but we never did a showcase for the Trunks, right? And even though he's not rainbowed, even though I know you guys like to see rainbow showcases, sometimes I think it's more impressive to see a unit at 55% can still, um, you know, do stuff like this, right? Like, just give you some amazing tanking. Obviously, the support is there, and uh, the damage is, once again, for a support unit, there as well. Okay, so we're about to get through this Super Saiyan God now. I'm trying to think if I actually want to finish this event. Because, like, we don't really have to, right? But then again, I don't get to use Hybrid Saiyans that much, so... Just for that alone, I think it might be worth it. Just to have some more time with this team. Because, like, outside of showcases, there's not really an opportunity for me to, uh, you know, use this Gohan, for example, the future Gohan. Yeah, awesome tanking. I think he gets like, what, 58% damage reduction or something like that? Uh, yeah, reduces damage received by 58% unconditionally when he transforms, which is pretty insane to me. Yo, look at these guys too, 323,000 for my Gohan who is at 90, no I wish, uh, 79%. And then the Trunks is rainbowed of course, 232,000 defense. But yeah, this team is pretty wild. I'm sure you guys already know, but yeah, this team, <laughs> with everybody stacking like this, untouchable. Like, Goku must be mad frustrated right now. He's like, yo, I'm giving it my best, you know, I'm throwing in my supers and everything, and it's just not doing any damage. Like, what's going on? Why am I so weak? <laughs> Alright, Super Saiyan God Goku, done. And... Now we are on the Super Saiyan Blue Goku. We have 297,000 defense for Trunks. Um, I'm going to put him in the middle. Let's let him super one more time. And obviously Gohan is just... Like, he's he's impenetrable at this point. Like, he, he cannot be touched. And here we go. Now, while I have your attention, I do want to... Once again... Once again... Once again... Once again, <laughs> address a somewhat controversial topic, I guess, in the community recently. Um, re like, like this morning. What the hell just happened? I don't know, man. That was really bad. But I swear I clicked them. You know, sometimes, sometimes you click on it, it just doesn't register. Maybe it's my phone screen. Maybe uh, I need a new phone. Maybe I gotta contact Apple support, be like, hey, my iPhone's broken. Could be a combination of things, guys. But uh, <laughs> anyways, the topic I wanted to talk about is this whole uh, in Super Saiyan Broly being not as good as like I say he is or whatever, or some people say he is. I mean, obviously when he first came out or when his first details dropped, a lot of people were freaking out because they were like, oh my God, this guy's so good, right? And I think recently the sentiment has changed a little bit. I mean, I think a lot of people still think he's very good. 
but the active skill has soured a lot of people to this unit. And I just want to make the case that, like, I don't think the active skill is that bad, guys. I mean, is it hard to get his active skill off sometimes? Yes. But you got to consider the fact that his active skill is very powerful, man. Like, it is a very powerful active skill effect. He has some 60% attack, and attacks effective against all types for a unit that can super up to four times in a turn. Okay, I think they, they took all of those factors into consideration when they made this active skill. They are like, dude, like by the time you're on like turn six, seven, eight, or whatever, and you can use the active skill, the Broly will probably have built up enough attack where he's getting like, I don't know, five, six million per super. I mean, I did a, I posted a video, that, like I said, this morning where uh, my Broly on turn nine had uh, almost eight million attack per super. He supered three times. He could have supered four times, but the, uh, the enemy already died after the third super. So we didn't get to see that. But my point is that, um, you know, it's just a really, really OP active skill for this unit. So I think that's the reason why they wanted to make it a little bit harder to uh, actually activate it. And on top of that, you know, like it is very RNG dependent. So like sometimes you can get it on turn three to five. Like on average, I actually get the active skill on turn five or six, depending on if I get the Broly on the first turn or the second turn. So while I feel like the condition is not great, I think it was purposeful. It's definitely a active skill that was meant to be, you know, used for longer events, right? And for shorter events, you usually, I mean, to, to be honest, like, you don't need the active skill to, like, crush, you know, most stages. Like, the Broly, even if he didn't have the active skill, is still a very, very powerful unit, you know? Like, by turn two, he's doing three million per super, or turn three, turn four, whatever, after a couple of stacks, basically, he's doing three million plus per super, and of course, it depends on his activation, right? Like if you're at 55%, you're doing less damage. At 100%, you're doing a lot more damage. But, uh, you know, if you're doing that much per super, you're supering two to three times, three to four times. I mean, like, I, th I think that's, that's, that's quite impressive. Like, I don't know what people are expecting. Like, it, maybe it's because he doesn't do five mil on the first turn. Um, is it possible, actually? I don't think so. Either way, yeah, maybe it's because he's not doing 5 mil on the first turn, and, uh, you know, since there's some free-to-play units out there that do that too, uh, or that that do do 5 mil plus on the first turn, they're like, oh, this, this unit's not that good. I don't really know. I don't really know. Regardless of the reason, I just want to make a case, man. I don't think the active skill really hurts the unit that much. Like, the condition, that is. Like, obviously, people agree, I think, that... The active skill itself is awesome, it's just the condition that kind of sucks, right? Um, I know we went on like a weird tangent there, and I, I know it's not related to the Trunks and the Gohan, but it's just something I wanted to talk about, man. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. I know Truth has been very outspoken about this topic, about this, uh, you know, issue, if you will, and uh, other people have chimed in with their opinions too. I'm kind of in the middle, man. I agree. It's not the best condition. But is it really that bad? Not really, in my opinion. But uh, getting back to the Trunks and Gohan. Uh, that tanking. <laughs> that tanking is ridiculous. Uh, these guys too. Ridiculous. This team overall, just pretty damn ridiculous. By the way, guys, if you guys missed my uh, last couple of collabs, just a quick mini plug for myself. Uh, go check out those collabs because, of course, over the course of the last like three videos we did, three summoning videos, we rainbowed the Broly. Some of the craziest luck I've had in a in a while. Definitely not the best luck. Like we've done better, but like it's up there. It's up there. Uh, I think I rainbowed him in 1,500 stones. No less than that, actually. No, if I if I had my choice, if I wasn't doing a collab, basically. I would have probably stopped at around like 1300 because that's where I rainbowed Broly. But then it was in part two of a collab. So I didn't want to just leave. I didn't want to just dip in the middle of a three way collab and be like, oh, you guys, you guys do the part, you know, third part by yourself. So I'm done. I'm out. So, 
you know, I decided to do a couple more multis, didn't get anything good. So technically, we rainbowed in 1300. And I'm not trying to flex on anybody. I'm not trying to, you know, like make you guys feel bad. That's really not the intention. It's just like, you know, we get shafted quite a bit on this channel, at least we have in the past. Um, and, and, and it's nice, I think, to, to celebrate, you know, to, to be happy when things go the way that you want them to. Okay, so at this point, the Trunks' damage output has become fairly unimpressive. Taking a super. There we go. There we go. STRUI Goku only did 1.2k with a super to Trunks. I mean... You gotta be impressed by that. You, you gotta be gotta be impressed by that oh my god dude just kill the just kill the goku man you're so close you're so close oh by the way quick question uh for those of you watching right now have you defeated the str broly easy a because i do think it's one of the harder ones that we've seen or it's got to be the hardest one on global right now it might not be harder than the one on uh, JP, the Golden, not Golden Frieza, the Goku and Frieza EZA, but for Global, it's gotta be the hardest one so far. So I wanna see how many people actually were able to beat it. And if you did beat it, how f much further did you get in the event? Because I'm on level 15 right now. I do think I can climb even a little bit higher, but um, I think like I won't be able to get past level uh, probably level like 20 would be the cap for me. Maybe not even, because like I was struggling a little bit on 15. But uh, yeah, how far did you guys go? Let me know. Feel free to flex on me. I don't mind it. Uh, I think the highest on my friends list right now is level 17 or 18, which is pretty good. But I do think we can definitely go beyond that. Of course, when it comes to like for the purpose of grinding Zenny, you know, if you plan to use that stage to grind Zenny, to grind uh, Hercule statues. It's not worth it, guys. It's not worth it, because it's way too hard. Like, if you're taking five to 10 minutes per stage to get one Hercule statue, you're much better off doing literally any other Extreme Z battle event, right? Like, literally, uh, I mean, the best one, I think, is probably the, the AGL Broly one, the Wrathful Broly one, because if you have a good Movie Heroes team, you can easily get to like level 200 plus and you're still getting Hercule statues every stage. So that's probably the best one in my opinion, the farm medals. Okay, or not medals, Hercule statues. Okay, so at this point, let's have a little fun. Let's pop all three of these active skills. This is actually gonna be like a minute long sequence because all these active skills are pretty damn long. At least the Gohan ones, the Gohan active skills are Really damn long. Yeah, that's the first one. It's still going. Okay, there we go. And then we'll pop the one for Trunks as well. And this one's not too bad. It's probably like uh, half the length of the Gohan one. And maybe we'll just leave the second Gohan because I don't know if I want to sit through that again. <laughs> All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give, um, we'll give these to Gohan. Now we'll give these to Trunks. And yeah, we'll leave the other Gohan on Transform for the time being. Tanking is still looking pretty good. Nine damage, 5.7 mil for the attack. Can we get a crit? Maybe. 2.5. Oh wait, hold on. He has a he has a tax effective against all types, right? I think he does have a tax effective. I forgot about that because it's been such a long time since I popped his active skill. So I think we don't actually need the crit in that case. Um, Trunks with 2.7 additional though. He has a tax effective. I know that for sure. So we're doing some good damage on Goku right now and taking a decent amount of damage too. But at this point, I think we can live with that. I don't think um, we have to worry about dying by any means because like the other rotation is just so damn tanky. 
and this Trunks too, of course, or Gohan, rather. How, how many times in this video have I said Gohan instead of Trunks, or Trunks instead of Gohan? I feel like it's happened a ton already. Uh, you guys can let me know. Okay, so 475,000 defense for the Trunks, 666,000 for the Gohan because apparently he's the devil. And uh, let's see if we can take a super here. I actually really want to get supered. Yo, Goku, if you, if you want to try, yo, super, super the Trunks. It's going to be okay. Trust me, I won't, I won't get mad. Let me see how much we can tank a super for here. I, I'm guessing it's going to be over, uh, you know, a couple thousand. But probably not by much. Because, yeah, with that much defense. Here we go. There we go. You know what? No more guessing. Let's just see what happens. So yeah, we're around 400,000 defense right now. And we took 1334. Man, so close to 1337. So close to 1337. Alright, well that was uh that was solid. That was solid. If you guys have been struggling with uh, some of these longer stages, longer events, like this one, if they drop about history, and uh, you have either AGL LR Gohan or another, you know, Youth Gohan that's decent. You can run with the Trunks. I would definitely recommend giving it a shot because even though he's not going to be as tanky as AGL LR Gohan, uh, the Trunks is holding his own. He's, he's definitely holding his own. Oh my god, look at Gohan's defense. 690,504. Okay. Okay. That is a lot. That that is much defense. Um, it it, it kind of became a ultimate Gohan showcase again, I guess. <laughs> Although you guys already know what what ultimate Gohan is about, so I didn't really have to say anything much about him. But man, he he still surprises me with that with that defense and offense, like. Man, what a great unit. Um, for, for a while, I had him outside of my top three like best TURs. I think I might have to reconsider after this video. Because like he's opened my eyes a little bit. He really has. Um, yeah, in this showcase, he's kind of reminded me just how good he is. And I think I have to reconsider my list. I really do. All right, well, this is gonna do it, guys. Uh, one final rotation, 426,000 defense, 759 for Gohan, no support on rotation. And I don't think Trunks will be able to finish this, but we're still gonna give him the super attack, or the Dokkan attack anyways, because once again, he is the new unit. So this is mainly focused on him. And unlike last time, we are going to get this Dokkan attack Perfect. There we go. Seven for seven. And he has 1.6 million attack. If we can get a nice crit here, maybe we can finish off Goku. That would be the best case scenario. If we can't though, then Gohan will obviously. Oh my god. Yo, you could have at least additionaled. You could have at least additionaled. This is your showcase, man. Making me look bad. Okay, so we're taking a super for 17 damage, and this is gonna do it. Guys, there is the uh, the the indestructible duo. Um, I mean, you could make a case that like there's two indestructible duos in this in this showcase, right? There's the Trunks and the Gohan, and then there's the uh, Trunks and the Gohan. Both rotations for Trunks and Gohan. How did I not realize that until just now? <laughs> Yo, I literally didn't even think about that until like this very moment. Both rotations are Trunks and Gohan. Well, there you go. Indestructible duo. Apparently Trunks and Gohan are just, uh, you know, I mean, they, they, they are Master Disciple, I guess, so that, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's the showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys have pulled this trunks, let me know what you think about him. And uh, that's it. As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. 
to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.